Mr. Samir Shaw, he's the manager with iQuant uh, out of Westport, Connecticut. And uh, sir, you can begin when you're ready there. Thank you. My name is Samir Shaw, and I'm with iQuant, Westport, Connecticut. I have over 20 years' experience developing algorithmic trading systems and infrastructure. I provide forensic analysis and data evidence okay. to, our regulatory, uh, to our regulators. The issue concerning, this is a systemic issue of trade-throughs. Um, what I really want to briefly present are four things. What FINRA, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority's trade-through reporting system consists of and how enforcement works, and I don't show you where the loophole is. I want to give you a visualization of what a trade-through actually is, because we're talking this term sometimes we need to really define so you have a full picture of what a trade through is. I'll demonstrate the scale of the problem and then how it impacts the Pennsylvania retirement system directly. If I can direct you to page five of the SecureX materials. It should have FINRA Reg NMS trade through report card on the top. Every broker dealer is provided a report in an online system powered by FINRA, which is the regulator, reporting all their trade throughs. This data has been available online since 2008. This is their notice. This is a regulatory notice to them that there's a trade violation. They have a duty to report this back to you mm -hmm. under your broker agreement. So you guys all have policies in place for best execution. If there's an issue, that they're supposed to report this to you. On the bottom, the enforcement division uses a different system. They use what's called an electronic blue sheet from the pit days. They used to mail out blue forms give people 10 days to respond. This is, that system went electronic in the 80s. There's not many businesses that would be able to run today using a system from the 80s that they've band-aided and band-aided, and that's what enforcement has. So consequently, these trade-through violations are not enforced predominantly because your broker-dealer is not reporting back to you the trade-throughs, knowing that enforcement has no way of enforcing it. So they turn a blind eye. That's essentially the issue. Your fund pays 12 cents per 100 shares traded that you sell to FINRA as a trading activity fee for them to police, make rules, and enforce the rules. You're paying them to do this job. They're not doing the job. In 2013, FINRA brought 1,535 disciplinary actions across the 700,000 plus brokers. They ordered nine and a half million dollars in restitution. That's their total amount of investor harm they recovered, yet collected $500 million in fees from the investors to bring back nine and a half. There is a disconnect, and the disconnect is the fact that they are, the one side is providing the trade through violations and the enforcement side is handcuffed to, to do anything about it. If you're relying on the regulators to do this for you, it's not gonna happen. So, I will, if you can keep that last point about this disconnect and I'll come back around and I'll try to put the two together and show you exactly how the issue can be resolved. If you could turn to page nine of the SecureX materials. I should say trade through violations with a couple graphics on top. And this is like, I mean, this is technical information. It's difficult to sight read. 
But in, a, in essence, this is the methodology. It defines step by step exactly how trade throughs are identified. There's no, there's no magic in this whole thing. It, there's nothing, this, I'm sorry. Hmm. It says trade through violations on the top? Right. It says trade through violations on the top. It's in the SecureX trade through recoveries packet. Is it? Correct, the one with the red, red arrow. That's the methodology that's used to identify trade throughs, step by step. Um, it, it, on page 10, actually on, on page 11, will probably be the best graphic, which will kind of put this all together. You should see a ticker tape view. It's just a graph. And what this really says is, in blue are all the best bids, in red are all the best ask prices, the green asterisks are all the trades that are going through, and the black dots are outside of the best bid and offer, therefore it's a trade through. And that's what a trade through looks like. When you, when you look at the market data, that's a graphical representation of what a trade through is. In this particular half a second, there were nine Cisco trade throughs. And it identifies the side that's violated and the amount of harm. The previous page 10 actually shows the forensic trade through evidence. And it should be a, a blue table. On this page, what you're going to see is on November 4th, uh, 14th of 2013, 9.39 in the morning in two seconds, a, a trade for 10,000 shares of Cisco was executed at $20.88. The best bid at that moment was $20.90. The best offer was $20.91. That trade was traded through two cents on the seller side. The seller was harmed. $200. The reality is it doesn't really matter what kind of commission rate you negotiate or what kind of commission recapture program you negotiate if you're being traded through. If you're not getting the best execution, it, it's, it's, a big, it's a big problem. It's just a big problem that you need to be aware of. On page 12, is the actual data evidence. Together, pages 10, 11, and 12 is an example of one trade through violation, and that's the evidence that's required, and that's what supports a claim that you may have for reimbursement. The scale of this problem, if you turn to page six of the SecureX, report. And it's going to say U.S. equity markets up on top. This is just a summary uh, between 2008 and 2012. There are 20,672 equities. 10 trillion shares trading $300 trillion of value. Out of 27 billion 25 millisecond audits, 376 million of them had trade throughs, had at least one trade through. That's, that averages close to 300,000 times per day. It's a systemic problem. This is not a problem specific to your pension. This is a problem between the regulators not being armed to do it. And it's, the onus is on you to be vigilant. When you look at a rating scale on, pa on page eight, you're gonna see an example of Citi. And this is a rating report for Citi. And the rating for Citi is KM17. The rating simple system is simply the first letter indicates how frequently per day the symbol is being violated. 
The second letter is the volume of violations in the repository, and the number is the percentage of audits that have trade throughs. This information in a separate package on the back for PSERS, I took your holdings, you had 2,500 holdings, and I put the rating of each one of those it's for your information. So you could do a top-down, high-level perspective of this is an issue that we trade a lot of. This is a highly manipulated issue. This is one worth investigating. If you turn to page two of the PSERS specific package, it should be towards the end. You're not going to call any meetings tomorrow, are you? Hey, how many pages are you turning? And it's going to have an orange. It's going to say PSERS 13F filings. It's an orange form. This hopefully will drive home the issue. I pulled the SPY data, JP Morgan and Morgan Stanley, directly from your SEC 13 filings. In each of these issues, PSERS has traded over a million shares. SPY is the exchange traded fund tracking the S&P 500. It's an industry benchmark. Out of 638 million trades for SPY, 94 million were traded through. That's 15% of all trades were traded through. When you look at it from a volume perspective, out of 288 billion shares traded, 80, 82 billion were traded through. That's 30% of the volume. The issue here is not a question. This is a systemic problem. This one issue, you guys traded over, over 2 million shares on. And if 30% of them are traded through, that's a significant problem. But this isn't the SEC's 2.3 cents a share. The average trade through is 35 cents a share. So the fact that you're paying two cents in commissions, if you're being shorted 35 cents a share, that is a bigger problem. I think we're probably ready to enter the Q&A with you if, uh, if, you, if you've made your if vital can, points. If I can make one, uh, one closing. Although the subject matter may be technical in nature, it's really a simple issue with forensic evidence. It's cut and dry. There's nothing subjective about this. You either got the best execution or you did not. Securix will identify your trade through claims. Just settle, state your claim, settle your claim, life moves on. Thank you for your time.